Obviously you got a late spurt there, a couple goals there in 10 seconds, but was it too little too late at that point? Or Yeah, I mean, obviously we had a really good third period, but I didn't like the way we played it all in the second. I thought we were, we were late, we were slow, we, you know, we didn't really want to win any races. And, you know, if against a team that has high-end talent, you know, it's we, we needed to make it a little bit tougher for them. And I just didn't think we worked near hard enough for majority of the first two periods. What did you attribute that to, or can you attribute it to something specifically? I don't know. I mean, it's I think that's there, there's nothing for me. I mean, it wasn't our young guys. Let's just put it that way. I thought. Uh, you know, our young line, I thought they played really well. They had great spurts for us. They had a couple good looks before they finally scored one. Um, I thought Jack Duff was outstanding tonight. Um, you know, um, and, you know, really their top guys scored. And ours didn't, you know, weren't good enough sustained throughout the game. And, you know, in order for us to be successful, that can't happen. You've said that same thing a few times this year. It's not our young guys, which obviously alludes to the older guys, the veteran guys. Is that concerning that it seems to be becoming a trend at times? Well, I think we got older guys that aren't used to being in certain roles. And, you know, and that's where we're trending right now, where our younger guys are starting to see more and more, and they're going to continue to see more and more if they keep playing the way they do. And, you know, we're, you know, as much as we want to sit here and say, yeah, we're playing for this year, we're, we're playing for this team here. And we need these young guys to be our best players in a couple of years. And the only way that happens is by gaining experience and getting confidence. And that's what I see out of, out of them right now is they're very confident. And, you know, really, for, I use Emma Sproul as an example. Since he's come back after Christmas, he looks like a completely different player. And he's a kid that's really knocking on the door for more playing time. And finally, a special teams power play 0 for 5. Gave up a shorthanded goal, penalty kill, only one out of four. Yeah. Just your thoughts on that? No, they let us down tonight. And that's, you know, again, that comes down to our, our key players, right? And mm -hmm. Especially on our power play. I mean, we had a couple of bucks, but, you know, I thought we turned too many pucks over. I thought we were mishandled too many pucks. And then our kill, you know, I didn't think we, were, we had enough urgency uh, in certain areas of the ice. And, you know, for me, that's. That's, it was the real the difference in the game was, you know, giving up four special team goals, a shorty and three power play goals. And you can't do that most nights when hockey.